Oh my gosh, I am so worn out. That's uh, I must be going through what they call keto flu, in which uh, you're just incredibly tired and, uh, you know, this is I, I, I'm assuming this is the correct symptoms, but uh, yeah, you just can't uh, keep your eyes open sometimes, and so I have to just take a break from the computer and come over here and just lay down rest my eyes for a bit and unfortunately that sometimes turns into a 30 or 45 minute nap but um yeah skipped a day yesterday and um just didn't uh feel like uh doing much i was kind of constipated still am took a, a couple of laxatives and things to try to get things moving so to speak uh that's also a you know a, a risk with this kind of a diet is uh if you don't uh you know, balance it out correctly, you can get stopped up. So uh, be careful with that. And so I've taken some gentle laxatives, and uh, we'll see if that uh, if that helps things. But uh, what you don't want to do is you don't want to just get packed up, you know, so to speak. And um, yeah, well, that sounds kind of gross, doesn't it? Anyway, but as you can see from the the title and stuff, I am losing some weight, so that's a good thing. But uh, for right now, I'm gonna just. Uh, get rid of some eye strain here because of this staring at the screen and all this text and everything and see if I can't uh, get back to work in a few minutes and uh, I may have some other things to talk about later tonight I'm thinking of making sushi tonight which might be an interesting thing to share in the video but for right now I'm gonna take a rest hey everybody I'm back I've taken my nap I feel much better I uh, made some sushi tonight and, uh, you know, was looking forward to trying this recipe for, uh, for cauliflower uh, sushi that, uh, you know, looks like this. Let me show you. Uh, hang on. There. You know, look how beautiful that is. <clears throat> made with uh, cauliflower instead of rice. And, uh, you know, that's a, a nice thing to strive for. And, uh, you know, those, that, that meme where it's like, you see something like this and then you see your attempt and it has a little, you know, caption that says nailed it. Here comes my nailed it. Yeah. I didn't really nail it very well. <laughs> Although I will tell you this, uh, this stuff right here is uh, Bragg's amino acids here. Those tasted just like, uh, soy, soy sauce. So that was great. This is ginger, pickled ginger uh, from a can, uh, which was great. This is uh, wasabi paste from a tube. Uh, everything else, uh, the thing that I would recommend, and that I'm going to do next time, because this was what really screwed me up. Notice I've got tomato in there. Tomato's wet. Um, I will probably uh, mash out the tomato so that it's, uh, not mash it out, but lay it out and mash a paper towel over it so that it's dry. And the same thing with the cauliflower. So I, I cooked, I, I ground the cauliflower up in the Vitamix, and then I s stuck it in a bowl, covered the bowl up, cooked it for a couple minutes, and then I mixed in some apple cider vinegar because I didn't have rice vinegar, and uh, a little bit of sugar. And then, you know, I know it's an NSNG diet, but I, it was a pinch. So I was like, okay, what the heck? And it's a giant bowl of rice, so it was a, or, or bowl of cauliflower. It's just going to sponge that up, right? So I mixed that together. And uh, what I realized is that the cauliflower, if you were to grab a little bit of it and just kind of wad it in your hands, it's wet. You could wring this out. And so I, what I'm thinking I should have done is spread it out over a, a, a tea towel or kitchen or, or paper towel or parchment paper or something, and then mashed paper towels over it to dry it out again. And that would have, uh, would have made this much better because when I rolled it up with the seaweed, uh, what happened was it just kind of leached out and the seaweed got wet. And then when I tried to cut it, the whole thing, this was the only roll here that even cut semi-decent. And I don't have a super sharp knife too. That's number, you know, there's two things I think went worked against me. One was I had wet cauliflower or wet damp cauliflower. And two, my knife was not razor, razor sharp. And this was just, you know, a shitty knife that we had. So in future, when I do this again, all the, I will tell you this, it tasted fantastic. So you know, be that as it may. I will tell you this, I'm going to get another knife and I'm going to try the cauliflower drying technique. I'm going to try this again because I think this was really good. I think it worked as well as could be expected. I just think it could be done better. And I think I know what I did wrong. Again, I'm a data-driven person. So I'm kind of like, 
all right, if I failed, at least find the variables that failed for you and figure out what to do to replace those variables, put something else in their place or fix that variable. And I think I figured it out. So we're going to try that again at some point in the future. And I'll take another picture and I'll post it here and we'll show you if it got better or worse. But that's my, uh, my story for today. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, I'm still a little bit lackadaisical. I've got a, a cup of tea here over to the side, and I'm just going to chill out tonight and uh, see what tomorrow brings. But thank you for watching, and uh, if you're on this diet as well, hang in there, man. It's going to get better. You know, <laughs> it gets a little uh, gets a little rough day three, three, four, five ish. You know, but uh, you know, hang in there, and uh, things will get better, man. <laughs> we'll see you later on the next episode. Take care. Bye.